Never heard of hyperhidrosis? You're not alone. Hyperhidrosis, or excessive sweating, is a medical condition that can cause distress for many Canadians. Almost a million Canadians suffer from hyperhidrosis. But according to new research, more than half of them have never heard of it. Dr. Noel Solish, dermatologist and founder of the Sweat Clinics of Canada, explains what it's like to live with hyperhidrosis. Hyperhidrosis is a medical condition that causes people to sweat excessively typically up to four times more than an average individual. Not only is it annoying to the individuals that have it, but it really can have a dramatic impact on their self-esteem and self-confidence. One of the sad things is that a lot of people suffer in silence. They don't realize that there are treatment options available for their excessive sweating. According to New Canadian Research, 43% of women are self-conscious about their sweating. For Zoe Dredge, a young woman suffering from hyperhidrosis, it's something she thinks about every single day. I'm self-conscious about my sweating pretty much all the time. It's something that always is, uh, is very conscious in my mind. It affects my clothing choices, which is, a, is at least a you know, once or twice a day occurrence for most people. So it is always in the forefront of my mind. Hugging people, I always make sure I give people an underarm hug because I don't want to put my arms over them and, and cover them in my sweat. It's so embarrassing. Zoe has decided to take control of her sweat problems. She's meeting with Dr. Solish to discuss treatment options, including Botox injections. There are several options available for those who have excessive sweating, anywhere from over-the-counter antiperspirants to surgery. For those who find antiperspirants ineffective or those who don't want surgery, Botox injections are a very effective alternative. More than 95% of my patients are happy with the results. It's safe, easy, and effective. The results can last anywhere from six to 12 months. The great thing about it is they can be sweat-free and really get on with their lives. Zoe shares her experience two weeks after treatment. Since the procedure, the change has been remarkable. I feel elated. I've never lived a day since in my adult life where I haven't had sweat affect me. So it's, it's been a wonderful change. I definitely saw the effects of the procedure uh, on my hyperhidrosis within three days. Previously, I would have felt self-conscious going out for a girl's night. All of my girlfriends get to wear these beautiful dresses, you know, in lots of bright colours and I never used to be able to. Now I'm really excited at the prospect that I could go out and buy myself a beautiful coloured dress and wear it out and, uh, you know, be one of the girls. Different day-to-day -day situations that I would have avoided before, now they're not a problem. And it's so unusual to me that when someone comes to give me a hug, I can actually hug them back and not have a problem with having to underarm hug. I can give them a full overarm hug and it's really quite nice. For more information about hyperhidrosis, treatment options and their safety or risk benefit profiles, or to find a dermatologist in your area, visit sweatmanagement.ca. Sherry Demetarko reporting.